This right here is our IFE. In fact, it's our amphibious IFE in Stormworks. Uh, unfortunately, today we aren't actually going to be working on this because I said in the previous video we're going to go ahead and build something that is like a four wheeler instead of an eight wheeler because I just want something a little bit less chunky, a little bit less big. Unfortunately, that does mean if it gets shot, we'll probably be in uh, trouble. <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and see if we can start building something small. So, let's go ahead and get straight to it, shall we? There are lots of enemies in Stormworks, from Navy ships to helicopters armed with rockets and even some tanks. It is our goal to eradicate those enemies from the world. Welcome to Stormworks Search and Destroy. Okay, so we're gonna go from something chunky to something a lot, a lot, a lot less chunky. It's gonna be armed uh, with a single light auto cannon, and that's probably it. But anyway, let's go ahead and start with a hatch. It's gonna be a little bit strange starting with a hatch, but that's what I wanna do. So the hatch is gonna go on there kind of like this. Uh, realistically, I'm gonna have to build this off to the side, do this up the side, so that I can then actually attach one of these on. So let's go ahead and do that onto there. Beautiful. Uh, we're then going to go to the underside of this, and we're going to do these guys. And that is awesome. So, on either side of this, we're going to have a wheel right here. We're going to have a wheel right here. And that's going to be it, essentially. Alright, so, I mean, that's pretty cool so far. We're then going to go ahead and obviously build up above this. And it might come inwards, it might not. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but I'm going to try and build this up a few. We're then going to go to turret. And we're going to see which one of these will actually fit in the center of there. Unfortunately, I actually think it's none of them. Well, maybe this one. But that's really tiny, and I'm not sure that's actually going to be very useful to us. I don't know. Will that be useful? I don't think so. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I'm not entirely sure just yet. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and delete that guy. I'm going to shove one of these guys onto there like this. We're obviously going to go across a few on those guys. There we go. I'm then going to shove that one onto there, that one onto there, and that is where the turret is going to go. I don't know how I feel about that just yet. Okay, so, so far, so good. On either side of this, we're going to shove this onto there and there. We're obviously going to build the floor in as we go. There's enough room in there for us to sort of walk around. If we need extra ammo, I guess I could store some somewhere in there as well. We are going to have to add an engine back here as well. And obviously the driver's going to go somewhere, so they're probably going to go here. Um, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this just yet. Anyway, we're going to continue. So, uh, right here, we're going to go ahead and build this up. We're going to build it up on this side too, obviously. Build that guy up there, this guy up here. Uh, we're going to attach it all together there and here, of course. Shove these guys onto each of those. That's fine. Okay. We're then going to try and figure out a way to add the wheels into here. I'm not sure whereabouts we need them to actually be, though. Alright, so I've gone ahead and added this little uh, wall right here. We're then going to go to wheels. I'm thinking 5x5 five five with suspension, because I feel like that just makes sense. Unfortunately, though, that actually puts it way further out <laughs> than the car would be. So maybe no suspension, or we actually go with the tiny ones. Which I don't know whether that makes sense or not. I kind of want huge wheels on this. And these are just not going to cut it. I don't think so, anyway. They're going to be tiny. Alright, so it actually looks like we're going to go with 5x5 five five wheels with no suspension. Whether that's a good idea or a really bad idea, I'm not sure just yet. But let's go ahead and build those in. Those are way too close together. <laughs> that looks bizarre! But what if we had it on both sides? I think it's just a little bit too skinny, to be honest. I might make it a tiny bit wider. Overall, though, this is starting to get really big again, like the other one did. Uh, let's go ahead and do that right there. Uh, I don't know how far apart these are. Is it like three? It's four. All right, so we go across four. Uh, one, two, three, four. Excellent. And then we just make them really big. Yeah, they're, they're too, like, thick as well. But let's go ahead and spawn it in and see what that even looks like. Yeah, that's bizarre. <laughs> that's way too big. That's huge. Okay, so I've decided to slim it down a little bit, which is uh, quite nice, I think, as long as that works anyway. I then want to go ahead and do something different, so maybe we can actually use these guys uh, to sort of bring it in. I don't know how that's going to work, but maybe it will. Right, we're then going to go across from there just like this, and that's fine. The rest of the car will obviously be underneath that, and we would have to attach all of these guys together, which I'm not so sure about again. I don't know whether that's going to be a good idea either. That looks weird. 
All right, I've slimmed it down. We took out one block from here. I've also done this up here, which is interesting. I don't know whether to have this bit be on an angle or not just yet, but I'm thinking probably. It's going to make it look a little bit more slim, which is exactly what we sort of need. I'm going to shove that across there for now. I'm going to do the same at the back. Essentially, this vehicle is going to be very similar at the front and back, which I feel like makes sense. We're going to go from the center of this, and I'm just going to build it out. I'm going to go backwards this way as well. And then we need to add wheels. Okay, so I'm thinking three by three with suspension. We shove that right next to this and we make it as big as possible. Unfortunately, I don't think those are as big as they can be or as big as they need to be for this vehicle to work. That looks insane. <laughs> that, looks, that looks really insane. So, I think unfortunately, that means that the only way to actually make this work is to make it slightly wider. Um, which is, again, making things a lot chunkier, but it is the way that it is. So, maybe that's just how it's gonna be? I don't know. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure just yet. Delete those guys. Okay, awesome. Fill this into here, and then we're gonna have to go with 5x5 five five wheels again. And just try and shove them in, I guess. So, that guy's gonna go there. This guy's gonna go here. They're going to be massive. There we go. I mean, these might be too big now, actually. But, sure. There we go. Let's spawn it in. Okay, I would say that that is actually a lot more like it. Unfortunately, I've had to take off some of the bottom side, as you can see. And uh, building the body around this might be really difficult. But I think this is the best I've made it so far. So we're just going to have to go with it. All right, there we go. I mean, it's it's built around it somewhat okay. Uh, we're going to have to have it be a little bit more sturdy in terms of the actual suspension, but I think that's all right. On the inside, by the way, I've had to add one by twos right here. No idea if that's going to allow me to actually walk into this thing or not, but we'll have to figure that out in a second. Um, yeah, otherwise, I guess with firm suspension, we might be able to lower down the floor by one. We will see. Uh, in fact, stiffness, I can't remember what they were on the other one. I'm just going to go bring it up to 80%. Uh, there we go. Obviously, there's going to be a lot more weight on this as well. So, uh, we, we're probably going to have to change them anyway. But 80, 80, 80. There we go. So, that's quite stiff now, which means that it's quite a lot higher. Yeah. I don't know. Will I be able to jump into this if I tried my best? No, we fall through the floor a little bit. I can sort of force my way in. If it did it the other way around, though, like if these guys opened the other way, like that, then that would probably be fine, actually. Of course, we do have more issues than just that. Uh, we actually need to seal these guys off <laughs> from the outside. Um, and that is a difficult thing in itself. So I'd have to do something along the lines of this. There we go. I want it to look somewhat okay on the inside as well. We could probably put actual, like, useful stuff in here. Uh, maybe like a gun or uh, first aid kits, something like that. So let's go ahead and do that. Equipment, yes. Uh, let's go with first aid kits back here. Two of those. And on the other side, we will go with... I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually know. Um... Maybe C4? Let's just go with C4. We like C4 in all of our builds. Let's just do that. Uh, we'll have two C4 on one side, and on the other side we'll have one C4 and one detonator. Bosh. Okay, yeah, that totally works. Nice. So, spawn it in again, and let's see if we can get into it properly this time. It needs to be a hell of a lot less bouncy, but I think with weight it'll actually be fine. Oh, yeah! That's awesome! All right, so unfortunately, in order to actually drive this vehicular device, we need to delete these guys right here and actually probably add a window of sorts. Um, I'm going to go with an angled 3x3 and try and shove that in there, kind of like this. Yes. It's a bit odd, but if I can fit a seat in there, that will work fine. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm fitting a seat in there. Yikes. Uh, let's try, though. Seat, driver's seat, shove that... Right there, like, does it not actually fit in the actual, hmm. I think we're going to have to have the floor be lower, but I don't know how that's going to go. So I'm going to quickly lower it down, and we'll see what that does. Okay, so I lowered the floor down. I have put a seat in here. Unfortunately for us, 
uh, the seat actually goes kind of in the way of the front wheels, which is definitely not something that you want. The issue with that, of course, is that I can't really do anything else, uh, because we really are limited in terms of space on this one. So, we're just gonna go ahead and build in most of these pieces. I'm gonna do the same thing somewhat at the back. Obviously not having those pieces is fine. Build that into there, delete these guys. Shove this in all the way backwards to there, at least. Maybe including this? I'm not entirely sure. And then we're gonna build these guys on this side as well. Oh, this is crazy, actually. There we go. Across there. Awesome. Go ahead and fill this into here. Go ahead and fill these guys into here as well. Yeah, it might look weird from here, but I think once we're actually spawned in, that looks pretty good. I might make the wheels themselves a little bit bigger, too. Because I can. In fact, let's go ahead and make them massive. There we go. Huge. 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 And huge. Spawn it in, and... That looks... I mean, it looks weird. It looks a little bit too, like, tall, <laughs> but I can't really do much about that. So this is sort of where we're sticking with it. I need to fit an engine in here somewhere unless we make it battery powered again, which, to be honest, I could do on this island. Or I could just add a little engine in the back. That could work as well. Or something else that we could do is actually just move the wheels one forwards and one backwards, but then it takes away from the form factor, I think. I don't know, I feel like that makes it look a little bit weird. I'm not entirely sure about that. Anyway, let's go ahead and add a bit of a ramp to the front end. I think I'm just going to have it come down like this. There we go. And we're obviously going to have to build up to it, so... I guess in the center we'll do something along these lines. There we go. Okay, that works. Delete all of the interior pieces. That's fine. And then probably leave it open where the wheels are. I think so. Alright, so I'm gonna kind of box it off like this. There we go. Yes. Uh, even that piece and possibly this piece as well. Now, it doesn't have to be watertight, so that's actually okay. But everything else, I don't know. I like to not have holes in it. That would be great. Alright, so I think that's sort of like the base car, I guess. Uh, I want to go ahead and add a motor and a bunch of batteries into this. And I think we're just gonna go with that for now. So, go to pipe, go ahead and shove that going backwards. We're then going to shove a gearbox into the center of that. Pointing backwards. We're going to add a T-pipe again at the back and do this. And we're going to add a motor on each side. There we go, just two motors. It's not very heavy, it's not a very big vehicle, so that should be okay. We're then going to go underneath the floor. And I'm going to build this in like so. We're then going to go back inside. Deleting parts of the floor, of course. There we go. And we're going to add batteries in there instead. Batteries. Here we go. So, one, two, three. I could actually have them upside down. I could have them that way around. That does make sense. Oh, that would make sense, I suppose. I, sh <laughs> I suppose. Uh, right, yeah, let's go ahead and try that. So, um, pink. There we go. So, we know which ones to d d actually delete. Um, we're gonna do these ones as well, of course. Shove that into there. Alright, batteries. So, grab this color, this battery, shove it upside down. So you can't see them from the inside, but you can see them from the outside. All the way across there like that, that's awesome. And that one. There we go. Alright, interesting. Delete all of the pink inside of here, because that is unnecessary now. And then, I guess we attach them all together, and that'll be fine. Alright guys, here it is, and this is it actually running about, which is pretty awesome, to be honest. Uh, I wasn't expecting to get anything kind of in the right form factor, and this does actually seem to be sort of right. Obviously, adding a turret to the top of this, or an actual gun to the top of this, might be a pain in the butt. But, maybe it's worth it? I don't know. I feel like a small form factor like this is just kind of hard to build without modded parts. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, this is what we currently have, obviously. I'm going to go ahead and add some rope connectors. I'm going to add some lights to the front end of this thing. I'm going to add some decoration. And then we need to start working on an actual gun up there. So, yeah. Let me go ahead and do all of this stuff first. And then I'll be back with you guys with that. And daytime. So, this is what we've got. Uh, obviously, there is no engine bay, so uh, I haven't done that, really. 
I might add some sort of pivot so that we can actually see the motors, just in case we need to repair those. Although I can do it from the inside anyway, so that's fine. I'd say this is actually pretty good. The issue is, of course, it is not four-wheel drive, it's just rear-wheel drive. Because it's kind of impossible for it to be four-wheel drive. Uh, especially with where the wheels are. I could extend it forwards a little bit, but I don't really feel like it. Um, one thing that I would like to do is actually to get the cannon on today. But I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it just yet. I, I think it's a bit small for it to actually be useful. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but I think it does. I think it does. I don't know. Let's add a little bit more and see what we can do. Right, so I've added a few more uh, bits of equipment to the inside. Uh, I've added this little step right here so we can actually like jump onto the step and jump in. And I've added a rifle right here with the ammunition. I've added a welder and a fire extinguisher right there just in case we need those, which we will. Um, obviously there's no extra seats in here. We are going to have to add some extra ammo for the actual cannon, which will go up here. Um, and that's pretty much it. So we're going to have to add some sort of pivot onto here. And then we need like an auto cannon on there. So we need like a single auto cannon, kind of like this one. I want it to be somewhat central, so kind of like this. But the issue is, of course, in this game, the feed has to come out the side and into something. So we can't just have it poking out like this, which is kind of annoying, actually. All right, don't look at it too much just yet. It looks a little bit sus. But um, if we go ahead and build these guys into here like this, uh, then maybe we can actually build something somewhat around this. And that will work out. Obviously, it's not attached to any pivots just yet. But maybe when it is, this will be fine. I don't know. <laughs> I actually don't know. Um, maybe? May maybe, maybe? I don't... I, I, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try it anyway. So attach that to there. Drag it backwards to here-ish. We're obviously going to go ahead and add this guy to the bottom right here. And I'm going to do this. And then we need a pivot on the back of this in order for it to be able to be lifted up and down, which I'm just going to add to the sides, kind of like that. And then we're going to have to clear this, cut these guys, uh, cut it and paste it. Oh, I didn't quite cut the gun, but that's fine. Merge this with this, this with this. There we go. We're going to grab the gun, delete the gun, and I'm going to shove that into there, the right way up, which is like that. There we go. Obviously, aiming down might be a bit of an issue, but the rest of it should be fine. So, we build this around here. We attach this guy onto there as well. We do these guys into there. Leave the middle section open, I guess? I don't know. And then we have to, like, just leave it open on the top. I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> I'm not sure how I feel about that at all, but it is what it is. So, let's just build this back across here. I really don't like the turret. I really don't like the turret. But again, it is what it is. Shove that onto there. Delete this guy and shove one of these in. Yeah, it looks bizarre. It does. But again, it is what it is. So let's go ahead and see if we can get the controls added to the seat. And see if we can just control it from the seat. Oh, that looks... I mean, it, it doesn't look terrible, but it does look a bit weird. So, if we jump inside... There we go. And we want to drive it around. We totally can. I think it being on a turret ring might be an issue, but... For now, we're going to leave it sort of as is. If I need to shoot it, we can turn it left. And we can shoot. If we want to turn it right, we can shoot. If we want to lift it up, we can do that and we can shoot. Yeah. And I can drive it at the same time, so if we need to, we could just be like driving around. I could see an enemy, I could aim at it, and I could be like... Brrr! Although aiming from third person is kind of annoying, isn't it? Although you guys keep saying that I could do that if I um, get a microcontroller for it or whatever. Don't currently have a brake on this, and I can't aim down. <laughs> oh, that's a boo-boo. Alright, well, I can't shoot that goat, unfortunately, but... You know what? I'm actually kind of happy with the rest of it. The turret does look a bit strange, and it is, it is strange. But if it works, is that okay? I don't know. I don't know, I just can't make it any, any bigger, is the issue, you know? Okay, so I changed the turret slightly so it's more angled on the top now, which I do think looks better, and the back end is a bit different too. Um, 
Is it that much better that I actually really like it? No, it still kind of sucks. But overall, I actually don't mind this. I like the body of it. I think the body of it's pretty cool. I would like to work on the actual turret, though. If I can make that look nicer, I totally will. But um, yeah, for now, this is awesome. As soon as we run out of ammo in that, we can actually switch it to the next one, too. It's currently using this side. Um, we actually have a lot of ammo. I might add a spare mag in the back. Also, if you are epileptic, I'm very sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, that's my bad. I should have probably mentioned it, although I didn't realize it was going to be like that. Anyway, uh, once you've used all of the ammunition in one drum, you can press 6, and you can use all of the ammunition in the next drum. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so I want to add some lights. I'm going to go ahead and do that really quickly. So, light on the inside. We just need, like, one. And I kind of don't mind if it just goes all the way back here. Uh, like that. Yeah. I mean, that's probably fine. We might need a heater as well, but I don't even think I've got heaters unlocked. I don't. Uh, so we're going to need a heater at some point. I would like a button for this light somewhere. Uh, so I'm actually just going to go ahead and add a button next to it. Yeah, why not? There we go. So that button is going to control this light. And uh, it's going to need some electricity. There we go. Uh, right, so this is for light. Yes! Okay, excellent. Not going to change what the light looks like, so that's all fine. Uh, we are going to go to the seat, though. We're going to have one be brakes. Two is going to be for lights. And that's pretty much it. So, yeah. Let's go ahead and go to two real quick. Which is this one. Attach it onto light there, light there, light here, and light there. The ones on the back are going to be painted red, of course. So that makes sense. And that's fine. Yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, does everything have electricity? They all do. Uh, brakes we don't currently have, but if we add a not signal in there somewhere, um, we can add them. Also, there's a big hole in the front, so we need to sort that out. Let's attach that to there for now. Attach it to all of these. And then attach that to number one. Okay. Excellent. And then I'm going to fill in the front a little bit. We're going to add some um, weight blocks, I guess? I don't know. We don't really need weight blocks. But we're just going to do it anyway, sure. And then I'm going to add a few weight blocks right there. Oh, nah. I'm going to add, I'm, I'm going to add like a few, but up here. There we go. Although if that needs fixing, then we're never going to be able to get to it. Who cares? Right, there we go. Right, it's done. It is sort of done anyway. I want to paint some things. I'd like to paint this deck a different color. All right, there we go. That's been painted slightly differently. We're going to go into here, and I'm going to paint this uh, slightly differently too, so it looks like it's going to have a reg on the back. And actually, I'm going to paint that in gray. Yes. On the front, it would be nice too, so I'm going to do that. And there we go. All right, this is where we're going to leave it. I, I don't know. I don't, do I like it? Do you guys like it? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it. Um, I'm not sure. Not sure just yet. Obviously, only having a window on the front might be a bit of an issue, but at the same time, we're likely going to be in third person the entire time anyway, so that probably doesn't matter. I'm also going to paint the floor in here uh, grey, and I'm going to paint this piece, except I am going to get rid of this. Bosh. There we go. Yes. Oh, I'm going to have to do the same on the other side. I didn't realize. There we go. Bosh that onto there. Get this paint. Paint these guys. That's it. Awesome. Yeah, I don't know. I, I don't know how I feel about it. I, I'm not too sure just yet. Uh, we're obviously going to add some dials into here as well so that we can actually see um, battery and speed. And that's probably it. I'm going to shove that guy into there, that guy into there. Going to do another one there and there. I just don't want any like harsh lines in here if I can help it. Shove one of these guys onto there. Interesting. Yeah. Awesome. And there we go. So I've added a little bit of detail up there. I've painted the rest of it that I didn't have painted before. One side was painted, one side wasn't. Unfortunately, that bit's not painted. I don't know why. Uh, and then on this side, obviously, it's not painted either. Interesting. But the rest of it is, so I'm happy with that. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of this thing. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Uh, should I change the turret for something else? I, I just don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, but for now, I'm going to actually end this video here. We're not going to do any attacking just yet today, uh, but we might do it soon. 
and um, hopefully, hopefully it'll go well. Anyway, for now, thank you for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.